NASA scientists have discovered not just a little water on the moon, but vast amounts of water. And John Berman is here on what they found and what it means. In just this one moon crater, the equivalent of one billion gallons of water, enough to fill 1,500 Olympic-sized swimming pools. And if there's that much in one crater, there's no telling how much more there is on the moon as a whole. But scientists say much more than they ever imagined. Lift off of this is all the result of a flashy $79 million experiment NASA launched last year, the so-called moon bombing. The idea was to send a rocket crashing into a crater and then analyze the makeup of the dust cloud. The whole world watched expecting some kind of spectacular explosion. The visuals turned out to be a dud. But the science, a huge splash. It kicked up ice particles containing 50% more water than their highest predictions. Why does this matter? With that much water, astronauts could live off the land. The melted down water could supply a hypothetical lunar base. If we're going to explore, the moon is in our future and we will go there. And lift off of the thing is, right now, the U.S. has no plans to visit the moon. President Obama canceled the mission to go there. I, I just have to say, uh, pretty bluntly here, we've been there before. In the near term, it may be China or India that gets to quench their thirst. Both have pledged to reach the moon in the next 15 years. Some American scientists we heard from today say they hope the new discovery will make the White House reconsider its plans to cancel the moon mission. They found much higher levels of hydrogen and other elements on the moon that could be used for stuff like rocket fuel. One scientist called the moon a treasure chest, Diane. Long way from green cheese. <laughs> we have there. Thank you, John Berman.